Hey, my name is Deepak and in this video I'll show you how to do programmatic SEO in WordPress and I'll show you everything from the start and this is going to be a very detailed and very long video. So let's get to it. At first I'll show you uh, all the tools that I'm using and this is a sample website, a test website that I have created. It's called Mailflux and it's an imaginary email tool that can be integrated with multiple other tools, other apps. So I'll be creating uh, programmatic pages for that. So at first, let me go inside the WordPress and show you what are the plugins that I have installed. If you see, I have this plugin called advanced custom fields. So we'll be using that. Uh, this is the plugin for creating custom post types and some field groups for that post type. This is uh, anti-spam um, like plugin. This is not required for this. Then Elementor and Elementor Pro. These are the page builders that we'll be using in the video. This is a cache plugin, which is not required again. And this is the plugin, the main uh, plugin WP All Import. This is the plugin WP All Import Pro and WP All Import uh, SEO add-on for the EOS SEO plugin that I'm using. So these are the only plugins that you need and uh, to be able to do all that um, that I will be showing in the video, you will need this package import pro package for the WP all import plugin. Since you know all the plugins next, uh, I will be having all the data inside this Google seat. If you can see, I have some integration with other tools and then their websites and some other data. That and this is the Google Sheets script that I'm using. You can get it from invertedstone.com and you can see uh, it supports OpenAI, Claude, Gemini Pro, Grok and can generate even thousands of rows of data by using any AI APIs. So now that everything is good, let's get to it. At first, I'll create a custom post type by clicking on this SEF post types. So I'll add a post type called integration. So if I show you the website, the website is something like mailflux.untoggedseo.com and now I want all the pages as integration and then app name. I want the URL structure to be like this. And for that, I'll have to create a custom post type. So I have clicked on this post type and let's create integrations. integration uh, post type key should be integration and everything can be default let's save and we do have a custom post type for that now we can create uh, fields so let's click on this add fields and what are the fields that we have so at first we have the integration name so let's create a field for that integration name yeah uh, it will be a plain text field similarly i'll create fields for all the columns that we have uh, in the site website subheading cost active installs language logo tool description and everything so let's get to it so if you see i have all the fields here i have created some uh, some are Im as images, some are text areas, some are URLs and some are plain like text, if you see. So now that we have the post type and then related fields, custom fields, let's move to uh, setting up the import. So for that, click on this new import button and then click on this, uh, go to the Google Sheets and make sure that the main tab that you're working in uh, is at the first position in the very extreme left and then click on the share button click on this anyone with link can view copy link then come to uh, new import click on download a file it will download the google sheets file as the csv uh, from the url click on download 
and then you have the option to create new items or existing items so in this case we'll be creating new items and we'll be putting it in the integrations uh, custom post so i've selected it let's continue to the next step and it says that uh, one of 10 posts are imported if i look at the google sheet i have yes uh, 10 uh, posts so for that everything is being imported we can just continue the next step and now you are on this screen let me make it bigger a bit yeah here you just have like you have all the available options in the right and you can drag everything uh, to the left side so integrate mail flux which is the tool uh, this tool mail flux with uh, integration yeah with shopify or other apps so this will be the title and if i wanted a plain simple blog post style programmatic pages then i would have dragged like put all the information in this uh, description area but since i'm using elementor page builder and i'll be designing the pages to look like a landing page uh, i don't have to put anything in this area but i will have to select this option uh, i do have some html in the google sheets so that it gets decoded properly for images uh, I do have some image URLs if I scroll down a bit I do have the logo so at first I will drag logo down to here and then I have the featured image feature image one okay I'll, I will separate it says enter image URLs one per line or separate them with a comma so I can separate them with a comma then I have the feature image two option again i can just drag it here and then i have the main image which i can keep at first because it says that set the first image to the featured image so i'll be putting the main image as the featured image and then you'll have to check this to scan through post content and import images wrapped in image tags so it will first download all the images to the wordpress media library and then replace all the instances of the external images external urls uh, from the media library urls for the relevant image or respective image so yeah everything is done and for images if you want to set alt text you can do that for example in this case i will set alt text for the first image i'll set alt text as this for the second image logo so i'll say something like yeah integration okay integration logo something like for the second image uh, for the third featured image i will just use the yeah titles so for the first feature image i will use this feature one for the second feature image i will use this feature two and then we have a set alt text for all the images all the four images that we have similarly next we'll have to do some seo settings so for seo i will just use this integrate mail flux this is the focus uh, keyword and this the same will be the title meta description or actually i do have a meta title field already in google sheet so i can just drag down for meta description i don't have so in this case uh, i will just use subheading as a meta description if i want if you want you can also set up uh, facebook title and twitter titles and all next is the custom fields that we have created so now this is an extra step that you will have to do it's a little bit complicated uh, but let me show you actually so first you'll have to go to the field groups let's open this in the new tab actually let me open it side by side yeah this is better uh, i have created integration field so i'll click on that and then i'll have to copy these names 
and then put it put them here for example the at first we have the integration name so i'll just put integration name here and then the value value will be dynamic for every sorry yeah the value would be dynamic as you can see here let me make it bigger yeah uh, integration would be the value for the integration name and then similarly for the next field would be the website i'll just copy and the yeah the website will be from here similarly create new custom fields and then uh, match all the values that you have yes so as you can see that i have matched every value let me close it and yes i have matched every value to, to their respective fields now the next option would be post status so if you want to keep it as draft you can do that but i want to publish it so i'll select published uh, open comments i'll keep it closed closed and slug so i have a field called slug if you see here in google sheets uh, this is the field slug so i'll select slug post author if you want you can do that but if you don't select it will automatically select any author continue to step four auto detect so yeah i'll just give it a friendly name which will be integrations integrations for now let's save only and then run the import If you see uh, it's saying that process zero of 10 records it's going through all the uh, rows that we have in google sheets and importing all the columns of values into uh, the custom fields custom post size that we created and everything is imported if you see go to the integration section and click on any post this is sorry this is the post so you can see that the titles are generated but we don't see any value if i click on this edit integration button you will see that that there is a title but the description is empty and if you scroll down you'll see that you have all the custom fields showing and the values are there subheading cost everything is there right yeah so for that you'll have to set up a elementor custom template so for that uh, let's go to templates theme builder and i'll be creating a single page so for that let me click click on this single page yeah so now i have a single page i'll have to create a single page template i'll be copy pasting from another website actually so this is a template but this is not dynamic so to make it dynamic you'll have to click on uh, the section and you'll have to have elementor pro to be able to do this so for example uh, i want to make the titles the headings dynamic so for that i'll click on this dynamic tag and then I'll scroll down select the acf field and then click on it again and then select the value for example integration name i want the integration name to show here and if you see currently it's empty i think it's somewhere here yeah preview settings uh, you can select that preview integration and then uh, select any one maybe shopify I, i'll just write yeah apply and preview so it will start showing uh, the preview you can see that the shopify is being shown here but i want to add integrate mail flux with shopify so for that uh, before like before actual dynamic value i want to add integrate mail flux with and then a space and then shopify so now you can see that this is completely dynamic the next uh, dynamic tag would be this uh, subheading so i can click on this dynamic tag select the scf field click on it again 
and then select the subheading and as soon as i select the subheading it will uh, start showing the dynamic subheading for the shopify similarly i have these options like cost i'll click on this dynamic tag uh, scf field and then select the cost similarly for active installs i'll click on this and similarly for the language and if you see all these things are being shown dynamically so next i'll just copy paste the entire uh, template and quickly uh, make everything dynamic and if you see i have made everything dynamic for example this heading is dynamic the subheading is dynamic all these cost active installs language values are dynamic this description is dynamic this title this description then these features this image uh, this the title this features and uh, the text images this section this image and this is static this is not dynamic all the numbers are for mail flux this is imaginary number mail flux does not exist by the way so next i'll have to publish it and if you click on the publish button it asks you to uh, where do you want to display your template so since this is a new template i and i want it to display for integrations so i'll just select integrations and it will apply to all the integrations pages by default include integrations all and just click on the save button here and it's saved and like now that all the pages are generated you can see that all the pages are here and if i open let's say the shopify in the new tab and then canva in the new tab you can see that integrate mail flux with shopify and their images a video uh, it's uh, like featured images as uh, mail flux shopify this image i have generated using an um an automation inside google sheets and the numbers similarly for the canva integrate mail flux with canva you you can see the canva image uh, it's all the dynamic details the video this this and uh, canva mail flux you can see and all the pages are generated so i'll put all the relevant links in the description below and that's it for the video see you in the next video